So this right here is a Siberian pea shrub, a caragana. It's actually not allowed in a lot of places. You can see I just keep cutting it back and keeping it short. And the apple tree behind it is totally benefiting from the release of nitrogen. All right, this is the Canada buffalo berry. No thorns. Um, this one's about the biggest that we have. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen. It's probably like four feet tall and I don't know, like six foot in diameter. All right, this is our happiest silver berry. Silver um, buffalo berry. You know, in a lot of where the, I mean, there's some thorns right there. You can see some thorns. And a lot of times, you know, the fruit will form around the end of the thorn. So that's actually, that's actually fairly happy for us. You do need a male and a female. So hopefully we have both. And this is a pea shrub that I didn't prune back. And I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see a post right the top of the fence, so eight foot fence is right there. So I mean, it's like, I don't know, 12, 13 feet tall. It's probably about as tall as it's gonna get. It might get a little taller. Um, but yeah, so that's next to the apple tree. That was it pruning back a nitrogen fixer. So here's another of the silver buffalo berries. It's actually looking better than I thought it was. But then we have this one. This is what the rest of them look like. So I don't know if one's a male and one's a female, but a lot of them are just like little, little shrimps like that. All the way along the fence, there's plants constantly going both directions. Can't even see them now though. 